Want to Viewlidate your Vue.js email form? Follow along as I guide you through everything from installing Viewlidate to adding styles. Stay tuned to see how I test the setup. Let's go. Hello and welcome to MailTrap videos where we explore the world of emails. I've already created and configured a new Vue.js project. Now we need to install the necessary dependencies to use Viewlidate. Use the npm i at viewlidate slash core at viewlidate slash validators command to install viewlidate and its built in validators. In the package.json file, you can see that the dependencies have been added. Close the terminal and go to the app.view file in SRC. Remove the boilerplate code from the script setup, template, and style as we won't need it. While cleaning up and prepping, take a moment to click that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Please, please, please. All right, let's return to our project. Import reactive function from view to create a reactive object. Use viewlidate from at viewlidate slash core to set up validation rules and states and required email and helpers rules from at viewlidate slash validators to create custom validation messages. As you'd notice, the email rule is imported with an alias email validation to avoid naming conflicts. Create a reactive state object with an email property initialized to an empty string. Define the validation rules. The required and email validation rules use helpers.withMessage to associate a custom error message with the required and email validation rules respectively. As the last step of the script setup, add the useViewlidate function to initialize Viewlidate with the defined rules and state. We're not done yet though. Now we need to configure the template. Add the form element and define the label as email. Set the input type to email and using vmodel, add two-way data binding for the email property in the reactive state. Add at focus, which triggers the touch method on focus to mark the field as touched. This means that validation feedback will be enabled once the user interacts with the field. Next, set the name attribute of the input field as email and add a placeholder. Use the for loop that iterates over the validation errors for the email field and define how the error message should be displayed. Finally, add basic styles to make the email form more appealing. Okay, it's time to test our setup. Open the terminal, run the npm run dev command and open localhost 5173 in your browser. Here's our form. Once we click the email field, email is required message appears. As we start typing, we see the please enter a valid email address message. And as we enter the valid email address, no errors appear. Yes, Mr. Frodo. It's over now. There you go. You successfully validated a Vue.js email form with Vuelidate. But how does Vuelidate differ from vValidate? Do they follow the same email validation logic? We already have a tutorial to guide you through form validation in vValidate, so you can compare the two. See you there.